In this lecture, we will discuss acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes. Hydration is simply the addition of water. And when this addition of water is done in the presence of an acid, we call this as acid catalyzed hydration. Say, for example, this alkene, when water molecule is added in the presence of acid, what we get is an alcohol molecule in which water molecule has been added across carbon-carbon double bond. Water itself is too weak an acid to protonate the alkene. With added acid, say for example sulfuric acid, a hydronium ion is generated which can then readily add to carbon-carbon double bond. Check out these examples. We will notice that in the product, the water molecule has been added across the carbon carbon double bond and this water molecule has been added across carbon carbon double bond in the Morkonikov's orientation. We will understand the reason for this in the mechanism. Hydration is simply another example of electrophilic addition. The first two steps of the mechanism are similar to those of electrophilic addition of hydrogen halide that means the addition of proton followed by the nucleophilic attack. Consider this alkene. What happens is proton is added to an alkene to form a carbocation in which this carbon is left with only six electrons. And this carbocation is then attacked by a nucleophile which is water in our case to form a charged species called oxonium ion called so because oxygen in this case is positively charged. This positively charged oxonium ion must lose a proton to form a neutral alcohol and this is done by a base water in this case which deprotonates the oxonium ion to form a neutral alcohol and a hydronium ion. Notice that the hydronium ion was used in the step first and has been regenerated in the step third. Therefore, this reaction is called acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes. Water is added across carbon carbon double bond in Morkonikov's orientation. That means the hydrogen ad is added to less substituted carbon, whereas hydroxyl group is added to the more substituted carbon. This is obvious because the intermediate is carbocation and the first step is electrophilic addition of proton. The mechanism is similar to electrophilic addition of hydrogen halide. Therefore, Morkonikov's orientation is observed. Because of this carbocation intermediate, there are three consequences. Number one is in an unsymmetrical alkene, water adds across carbon-carbon double bond as per Morkonikov's rule. This is obvious as we have just said that the mechanism of this reaction is similar to electrophilic addition of hydrogen halide which goes through a carbocation and this carbocation is generated by the addition of the positive part of the reagent which is proton in this case to form a more stable carbocation. And that carbocation is then attacked by a nucleophile, which is water in this case, to form the product alcohol. Therefore, whenever there is an unsymmetrical alkene, the acid catalyzed hydration will occur through Morkonikov's orientation. Second is the addition of H and OH can occur in both a syn and anti fashion. This is also obvious because the intermediate is carbocation which is a planar structure and this planar structure after the addition of hydrogen, this planar structure can be attacked by the water molecule from both the top and bottom side or we can say from the side from which hydrogen was added from the opposite side from which the hydrogen was added. Number third is since the carbocation is an intermediate, therefore carbocation rearrangements whenever possible will occur. This we have discussed in detail in the lecture on hydrohalogenation of alkenes. Now if we carefully examine this mechanism, we will see that the double-headed arrows have been used 
rather than the single headed arrows that means this reaction represents an equilibrium which indicates that the reaction can go both in the forward and backward direction consider the reverse reaction that means starting from alcohol and ending with the alkene this process is an elimination reaction in which an alcohol is converted into an alkene more specifically this reaction is an e1 elimination or e1 process called acid catalyzed dehydration the truth is that most reactions represent equilibrium processes however organic chemists generally draw equilibrium arrows only in the reactions where equilibrium can be easily manipulated and acid catalyzed hydration is an excellent example of such a reaction in the lecture on reactivity of alkenes thermodynamic parameters were presented to explain why low temperature favors addition while high temperature favors elimination but in acid catalyzed dehydration there is yet another way to easily control the equilibrium the equilibrium is sensitive not only to the temperature but also to the concentration of water present on the reactant side control over this equilibrium derives from an understanding of Lucetteur's principle which states that a system at equilibrium will adjust in order to minimize any stress placed on the system to understand how this principle applies in our case after equilibrium has been established notice that water is present on the reactant side say for example increase the amount of water on the reactant side equilibrium will be disturbed and the system would have to adjust to re-establish new equilibrium concentrations that will be possible by converting more of this alkene and water into alkene that means when we add more water on the reactant side to establish the new equilibrium concentrations more of the alcohol will be generated by consuming the water therefore if we have to favor the forward reaction or the formation of alcohol or we can say if we have to favor the addition reaction we have to add more water or we say that dilute acid is to be added on the other side removing water from the system on the reactant side would cause the equilibrium to favor the reactants by eliminating water from alcohol that means decreasing water on the reactant side would cause this alcohol to dehydrate to establish new equilibrium concentrations this implies that if we have to favor reactants or if we have to favor the elimination we have to take less water that means concentrated acid has to be used alternatively this water can also be removed by distillation process and that would also favor reactants and would favor elimination in nutshell we can say that the outcome of the reaction depends on the reaction conditions and the concentration of the reagents the stereochemical outcome of acid catalyzed hydration is similar to the stereochemical outcome of hydrohalogenation because the mechanism and the intermediate formed are same in both the reactions the intermediate carbocation can be attacked from either side with equal likelihood therefore if we consider this reaction the product formed will be h will be added on this carbon which is less substituted and oh will be added on this carbon which is more substituted and since this carbon represents a chiral carbon attached with four different groups we know that when a new chirality center is generated a racemic mixture of enantiomers is formed therefore this product will be formed in the form of a racemic mixture in which hydroxyl group will be above the plane in one enantiomer and down the plane 
in another enantiomer. We have done so many examples on stereochemistry of hydrohalogenation and those principles will apply in this case also.